I just want to take a moment with you today and just share some things very special about the Word of God. The Bible is alive and it's as relevant today as it was when it was written. And the power of the Word of God can be transformed into your prayer. So often you'll read something, you'll say, hey, that's me, or I, I relate to that. I, and it just shows you that the issues and the things that were happening in the times when scripture was written, we go through some of those same battles today. They may um, have, be in a different time frame or in a different country, but God created the heart of every man, every woman, every child. It doesn't matter the color of our skin or um, our ethnicity, or the language we speak, that there's something that is the same in all of us, and it's that we were created in the image of God. And what I love is just going into scripture and transforming the scripture into a prayer because I feel these words that are on the page. And often the feelings that we can feel in the everyday can deceive us. So it's always good to go into the truth and the truth is the word of God. So just join me now as we go into Psalm 46 and I'm living, reading and praying from, um, I love the New Living Translation version. It just speaks to me. It's just so easy to understand. So just join with me now as we pray Psalm 46. God, thank you that you are our refuge and our strength, that you're always ready to help in times of trouble. And Lord, we need you now, we need you now. And thank you, Lord, that your word says that you are with us in times of trouble. The nations are in chaos, Lord, and kingdoms are crumbling down. Our society, everything is crumbling down, Lord Jesus. But your word is true and you are solid and you were there for us. The Lord of heaven's armies is here among us. Lord, you don't leave us, you don't forsake us. The God of Israel is our fortress. The God of Israel, you are the one true God. There are no other gods before you. And you say to us, be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am your God. I will be honored by every nation. You declare it to us. I will be honored throughout the world. You're making a statement and I believe it. I just thank you, Lord. Thank you that we can believe your word because it is true and you speak to our hearts. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness. Thank you, Lord, that you love us. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, if you need prayer today and you would love to be prayed for, just follow the information at the bottom of the screen. That's all you need to do. It's as simple as that. And there'll be people praying for you. So I just want to encourage you to get into the Word of God. This Word is powerful, but you must open it and you must get into it. It doesn't work sitting on the shelf. You must make it come alive in your heart and let your heart meet your mind. And then it gives God the opportunity to minister to you. And what you'll find is when you're walking, when you're working, that these words will start to stir in your mind and you will be start to experience what it feels like and what it looks like for the Word of God to come alive in your life. But what you have to do is open it first and then make it come alive by reading it, believing it and praying it. God bless you.